It's Operation Blackwind Week here at Corvus Belly, and we have some epic boxes to give away. Drop your comments using the hashtag Code1Blackwind and retweet, interact, and subscribe on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook for your chance to win a copy of this new Infinity Code 1 Battle Pack. Good luck and keep connected. Hello and welcome, this is Carlos Bostre from Corpus Belli Studios, behind the camera is Connie making this video for you and we are right now in the middle of Operation Blackwing, okay, hashtag code one Blackwing, okay, for those of you who wants to get something out of these videos, okay, this is the concept design video for all the bundle for Gen Con 2022, okay, so we're going to show all the dossiers that we like so much to show because we consider them also our little pieces, okay, so... Let's go, lots of stuff to see, here we go. Okay, we will begin with the new version of the Thoraki tie we have here, the new Code 1 dossier, you can see, which is pretty much a new take on the old design, not lots of difference, but very well executed this time. Also look at all the weapons that the Thoraki tie can take. Thoraki tie are considered, okay, the basic line infantry from uh, the Steel Phalanx, okay, uh, apart from the Myrmidons, which are, as we know, the, the real infantry, but these are, you know, Greek themed soldiers in a certain way, combining uh, a little uh, ancient Greek uh, mythology elements to sci fi soldiers in a little mix. You will see lots of details in the helmets that make them have that kind of, uh, you know, Trojan feel in a certain way. And carrying shields, okay, that's why uh, the, the Thoraki Tai have armor 3, which is pretty, pretty high. So, also swords, well, no, nothing new here in Infinity, many people carry swords, but this. Is a mixture of sci-fi with uh, ancient uh, Greek elements, kind of uh, Ulysses 31 in a certain way, and this is how the 3D modeler has been able to put this together. We like this figure so much, and I think they have a lot of flavor right there. Moving on, new design for the Gamer Marksmen, you know, the, 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 the elite snipers from Aleph. Okay, no helmet here, but kind of a visor in the eye. Okay, asymmetric design with this uh, that shoulder pad on one side. This is a unit not meant for walking around the table, but that to dominate the, 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 the spot from, from a rooftop or kind of stuff. Heavy uh, weaponry like the missile launcher and also the sniper rifle, which is here. This time is a male uh, version. And there you have very um, standard pose of, of being someone shooting, okay, not dropping in the ground or not uh, crouching uh, or, or sustaining the, the rifle o or over anything, but very pretty standard, no complex here, we want our miniatures to be looking to what they are shooting at, so we can have a flow uh, gameplay, okay. Another design here, the Ekdromoy, the jump troop, very, very useful for the Steel Phalanx, which is an army that has that lack of infiltration, okay. The jump pack of the Ekdromoy is very weird, okay, because has these wings that go to the front, okay, which is tricky. It's tricky for posing a figure like this. It usually gets a little problems for the sculpture and has to be handled with care, okay. It's, it's a risky decision regarding design when if the wings were no really pointing backwards like wings uh, won't be that, that much of a problem but after so many jump packs okay uh, if as a decision of design that these are going to look that sleek okay we have a lovely hacker figure here where you can see that he's using the the hollow hat in a certain way and the helmet the helmet is beautiful come on again okay. this trojan feel to all the helmets now that are uh, related to the steel phalanx are really nailing it okay now, the Thereos, okay, uh, the, this female unit specialized uh, hacker kind of uh, unit for, for Steel Phalanx. Female, very light design, okay, and no helmet here, so attractive female. Uh, very, very complex backpack right there, uh, stepping a bit away from the rest of the designs, if you take a look at that. And, well, this time for a few of this figure, there was a kind of an ethnic feel regarding color skin and, and, and hair. Okay, just a decision right there. And now we see here the concept design of the Hoplites, okay, uh, the heavy, elite heavy infantry for, for Aleph here. We have plenty of decisions over there. This pretty much uh, comes from the 
very popular Achilles uh, Oblit Armor back in the day, and this is establishing this heavy infantry regiment here with these elements, okay, with a little shield, with a, mm, a helmet with uh, the crest over there, and very powerful, big, chunky, okay, very well executed figure right here, and pretty much the start of the box in a certain way. Now, going with Hack Islam, we have to show here the new latest design for the Dailami infantry. This is interesting in a certain way from concept design because Dailami are not considered like professional disciplined soldiers, are more considered like militia, like civilians that volunteer for joining a corp. So, in the first design back in the day, the, the Dailamis were a bit like uh, people who got, got some sports gear or, or mountain gear and get into the battle. They are not considered to behave disciplined in the battlefield. It's like facing militia. Some guy comes, pops out from behind a rock with a missile launcher and shoots horribly bad. Another guy pops out and shoots at you and nails the, the shot. You know, it's some, some, that, that kind of low risk, high reward uh, kind of unit where you can infiltrate them and try to, 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 to deliver a deadly blow and something like that. But regarding concept design here, because this was going to a battle box, they have to be very attractive. And that is where the color scheme uh, is so important because if we were really um, coloring militia, they can be any kind of color, okay? No, no, no coherence there, but because these are going to be in a very important box, they have to look beautiful. So that's why this design uh, is militia, but in the future, a volunteer soldier, but in the future, and has established a very uh, coherent color scheme. Has as in the six, one of the classic, most beautiful figures from the Infinity Line, since it was sculpted by Han back in the day. It's pretty difficult even today to, to, to have a super attractive miniature up to that standard. Okay, we have been something very similar here with the 3D model, which is beautiful, but I, as a, as a person who has been in Infinity since the beginning, I can still remember the, the classic Hassassin Lasik, which I was an absolute delight of a miniature, really. This is pretty much an homage to that classic figure, uh, not stepping too much away from the original design, really. I mean, the Hassassin Lasik were one of the best designs from the Hack Islam back in the day, with Human Sphere, the first Human Sphere that was going to be made. Hack Islam we got so many good designs back in the, that day. Hassassin Barit, okay, Hacker also for Hack Islam. We have a female here. We have a very <laughs> a, a kind of a creative decision here with the ponytail coming out of the of the hood. Okay, very well constructed uh, 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 design over there. We have all the the best tactical vests here. We have seen this as a male design back in the day. This is the female version with the rifle and light shotgun and hat posing for the for the hologram. Has a scene Nadir here come with the camo pattern in the poncho. Okay, this is a unit considered to be, be camouflaged. Okay, and has that kind of trait to it. If you look at it, uh, it's pretty much uh, has a scene uh, feed eye with a poncho on it. Uh, not too many risky elements and something that would be, look cool with, with a good uh, painting job on it. Look at the execution of the figure. And now we go with the Hassassin Bokhtar. All kinds of risky design choices here. Look at that backpack, okay? Look at that vest. Look at all the elements in the shoulders. That is a very risky design, but has been executed gracefully, okay? If you look at the miniature, has been very, very well executed, okay? And the figure, painted figure is right here, and it's beautiful, okay? But from a concept design perspective, all kinds of risky choices here with many of the volumes that this armor has, okay? Finally, execution is everything and here it's beautiful, okay? But careful, this one when we were looking at the design is like, okay, I like it, but wow. <laughs> Moving on and now we jump to special figures. We have Pandora right there, okay? Pandora is a scientist, lab coat design kind of uh, stuff like that very plain uh, kind of unit in certain elements of design very alephish okay also the figure is right there <laughs> standing on the pandora box the pandora box is just that <laughs> moving on raman Rouhani from defiance we know this guy okay one of the few members of defiance now having a absolutely badass figure okay in my opinion very 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 cool figure for roman Rouhani. okay uh, moving on, another crew member of the Defiance, Trisa N33, 
Okay. Also, this one uh, more, sim more, more similar, in my opinion, to the previous figure that we have in Defiance. If you are watching this video, you are new to Infinity because of Code 1, I had to play Defiance was a dungeon crawler Infinity theme game that Corvus is releasing through Kickstarter in 2019. was very successful, but it was Kickstarter exclusive. So now th those heroes that are playable in Infinity are being delivered in this kind of Dire Force boxes. Thank you so much for the attention. The Underworld Fixer, the HBT that comes in this uh, Obsidian Head uh, Dire Force box, uh, this is kind of a nomad unit, or unit character from the Infinity Flag, has been colored in very, very excessive uh, chewing gum pink here. Looks lovely because it's not yet to be, it's not considered a military unit. This is a, a character from the Underworld, uh, underworld uh, world. So, Fixer, okay, <laughs> that's the character. And finally, Helen of Troy, the most special figure of the whole bundle, the exclusive figure from the event, okay, an HBT, graceful, like 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 a goddess, like like a like a someone who is you know saluting everyone, okay, uh, glamorous, uh, top model because uh, people with with resources can uh, allow themselves, indulge themselves, having uh, body sativa uh, bodies and appearances in the future. So these are have been all the concept designs from the whole bundle. I hope you are excited about them. I hope you like Haki Slam and I hope you like Aleph and I hope you are excited about both of them. This has been a video made from Corvus Belli to you. Have a nice day. Thank you for your attention. Bye.